the shards of tattered dreams I rose, unwilling, tossed upon tides of pain that flowed and ebbed and left me searingly awake, and more revoltingly, alive. It was then I saw her for the first time. Good evening. We did not expect you to awaken so soon. Already you surprise us. My mind was in fragments like shattered glass. Where am I? I don't remember. Yes. It was said your memory would be affected by your long slumber. That will pass in time. I am Uma, and I am here to help you. Know that your name is Cain, and you were once a power in the land. I know my name. But my past, I remember fragments only. That you awoke at all is a miracle. When we found you, there was but the barest thread of life left in you. We nurtured it, fed it, and now you rise and walk again. And what is this place? You are in the city of Meridian, capital of the land of Nalsgoth, the land you once sought to conquer and rule. Tell me, since you remember your name, do you also remember your nature? Of course. Then let me show you the future. You have been asleep for 200 years. In that time, this is what has become of Nazgul. <laughs>
You were a great general, commanding an army of vampires, but the powers you opposed were too strong for you. You were struck down, your armies defeated, scattered, and destroyed. Everyone believed you to be dead. Who defeated me? The Seraphan, an army of fanatical humans sworn to eradicate all vampires from the world. A new leader brought them together, and wielding a new kind of magic, deadly to our kind, was able to destroy your army and kill most of the vampires. You were defeated in mortal combat by this leader, the Seraphan Lord. But that is not the end of the story. Under the guise of protecting the land from the vampire menace, the Seraphan seized control of all of Nazgoth, and their rule is not kind. For 200 years, the Seraphan have enslaved the humans under their iron rule, and hunted down and destroyed every vampire they could find. They have not succeeded, however. Not yet. And now, with your help, it is our hope to crush the Seraphan and restore order to the city. The natural order. Vampires <coughs> preying upon humans. Naturally. You said our hope. Who are you? We are the Cabal, the Vampire Resistance. We work to undermine the Seraphan at every turn. But we are losing. With the new magic they employ, the glyph magic, they are able to find us and kill us. Our numbers are dwindling. Without help, we will not survive. We need you, Cain. Of course you did not bring me back simply out of kindness. There must be a price. We need you to help the Resistance. Our faces are known. They kill us on sight. But you are ancient history, long since dead and buried. You can go where we cannot. That gives us a small advantage. How splendid for you. And why do you suppose I would do this? What is to be my reward? Your eternal gratitude. Have you changed so much? The Seraphan Lord defeated you. Don't you want to kill him? When you have destroyed him, you can continue your ascent to power. Restore your army and rule the land at last. Does the lust for vengeance and power no longer stir you? Are you so dead? I seem to remember that I played the pawn once before. It ended badly. This time, you will prevail. We are simply your allies, not your betrayers. What we want from you is open and plain, with no hidden paths. If you succeed, so do we all. Are you asking me to trust you? We must trust one another. Together, we can defeat the Seraphan Lord. Once he is dead, his order will collapse. Mindless fools that they are. But there are dangers other than the Seraphan which must be overcome. I care not for any dangers. They will fear me, do you hear? Tell me where to find the Seraphan Lord. I'll have him buried within the hour. Such arrogance. If it were so easy, we would have done it ourselves, Cain. And you are far too weak to fight him yet. He is protected, too, by other vampires. Vampires in service to the Seraphan? Are they mad? They value their lives. While they serve the Seraphan Lord, he lets them live. I will enjoy destroying them. You would be lucky to survive one such encounter until you grow stronger. But should you prevail, then you will be able to absorb their veins and thus gain new abilities. To our kind, these are called the Dark Gifts. I look forward to meeting these traitors to our kind. My senses spun. My body ached. Weakness overcame me. You have the thirst upon you. Come, vampire. It is time for you to feed. Yes. Cain, do not be afraid. 
What magic is this? I am using the Whisper Cave, a natural ability of vampires. In this way, we can keep in contact even over great distances. Yes, I remember now. She had been in my thoughts. I almost believed I had called her myself. Never fear. I cannot read your thoughts, but only speak into your mind and hear you in return. <coughs> now, proceed down this street. I shall be waiting. most decrepit part of the city where few people dare to come a perfect place to train you train me do you take me for a dog your memory has been shattered and your body has lain dormant for 200 years <clears throat> what skills you had must be recovered before you can be of any use to the cabal you must learn to fight and to survive I thought you were taking me to feed patience vampire First, know that you are stronger and faster than mortal men, able to jump higher and farther than any human that ever lived. When your path is blocked, seek for a place to jump. Now, join me up here. Know that you also have the ability to float. When you are on a ledge such as this one, you may land silently and carefully by floating down. This will be important when I train you to kill. Now, follow me. She would discover I needed little training in how to kill. <laughs> Prisoner waiting for you down below. 
a thug from a local gang of criminals. He sought to murder yet another helpless victim, but he met me instead. Spare me the moral anecdote and direct me to his throat. Drink then. I will be waiting below. is your life. Without it, you will die. If you are wounded, seek out blood to restore your vitality. You must know, too, that by drinking the blood of others, you will gradually become stronger and harder to kill. We call this a vampire's lore. The more creatures you drink from, the more lore you will gain, and the greater your health will become. Leave no enemy alive, Cain. You will need their blood and their law to survive. Now, let us continue. <laughs> 